Hey, thanks for stopping by to Contraptions. I hope you find something here that will help you. I have quite a variety. But I am trying to keep it to assembling things, repairing things, such as cars and computers and some solar equipment. But there's a lot to do. Please take the time to subscribe as we need over 900 subscribers to make it to 1,000. Actually, I need 990 at the time of this video. Thank you very much and have a great day. All right, I picked up this mount kit for my 17-inch monitors. I got two of them. This is heavy duty. It's called forging mount. I'm going to unbox in here. Instructions. Inside this out. Okay. Got a couple arms here. It's supposed to be heavy duty. I need to stabilize my monitors, so. They wiggle. The base on them is really thin. Instructions here. Right. Parts included. Okay, this uh, has got two different kinds of base bases. You can clamp it on, or you can drill through the desk and bolt it on. Here's the setup for that clamp on kind and here's the bolt on kind wing nut maybe I'm not going with the bolt on kind so look at that gold this base is pretty heavy and that's good because I wanted a heavy one Everything feels real heavy. This box is heavy. There's some pretty weighty stuff. That's yeah, good. This is screws and spacers and what have you. And that's for the mounting it on the desk. You drill a hole through the desk. There's some wrenches. Very heavy. Made some really heavy metal here. That's good. Excellent. This is one of the clamps you can clamp on a desk. It's made out of some pretty serious metal. That's excellent. Sweet. Here's the other one. You know, whoever made it, they made it out of some really thick gauge steel. It's a plate for going on the back of the monitor. Attaching the base first. Some kind of a flat bracket here somewhere. It's got a rubber underneath here. Hopefully, I keep the vibration down. Option A: clamp installation. Option B: grommet base installation. Okay, now you take the base here. Here's the curved part. I'm going on the flat part. There's two holes here. You line up this clamp with those two holes and you have to put some screws in there. 
There's some tapered screws that comes with it. It'll fit right in there. So you bolt them clamps on. You have to have two clamps on. And then you can clamp it to the desk if you want to use that technique. If you don't want to, then you take this cover off here. Off this clamp. You unscrew it. Take that piece off. Set it aside. And you're going to use it with this large bolt and this wing nut. And then you got to take this base plate off to get this bolt put in from the opposite direction. There's a square right there. You bring it through, and then you would bolt that down on the table. You have to put this back on then, of course. I can go ahead and try the clamps, see how they work out, and then uh, see if the weight is distributed really well. I'll go ahead and put it on here and see what it does. Okay, take the uh, bracket that has the screw down clamp on it and back that all the way up that this, this screws on here this bracket screws on there so you want to make sure that that Phillips screw is tight on both of them there's two of these of course make sure those are tight and then you open the package that has four of these chamfered screws these short ones and it has two thumb wheels in it open that package then you have to slide this clamp on Face your uh, base upside down. You have the round part facing, uh, it's in front. This uh, bracket slides underneath the base here, and those two chamfered screws go in there. I already got two on this side, you can see. And then you snug them down with Allen wrench, the medium sized one, is the one that fits in there. But you can fit that chamfered screw in there and get it started by hand with your finger. And that's what you need to do, really. And it goes down in there pretty easy reasonable and then start tightening it with the allen wrench I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side tightened started and get these two tightened and then move on to the next step don't forget those two thumb wheels you got them out of the same package there you're gonna need them for on the brackets to go on the back of the monitor we'll look at that here in just a minute all right, I got those four chamfer screws tightened up, holding my brackets on. So now I'm going to go ahead and slide this over the desk. I'm going to put the piece of wood right here. And I'm going to tighten these brackets up by hand. And then I'm going to snug them down with a large Allen wrench that they sent with, with it for the final tight after I get it on the desk where I want it. Somewhere over here. That's for on the edge, as you can see. You can put that anywhere on the edge, wherever you want your monitors to end up at, that's where you need to put that. Now there are two arms. And you take that and put them on next, put the two arms on so that they're on this base here so they can swivel. There's a screw in there, you need to tighten that down. It doesn't appear to have any difference between either end. You just go on there like that, and then you tighten down this Allen screw here. And it fits into that slot in there, so it can't come off. But it can turn. I would imagine you want to go too tight. If you go real tight, it, it won't move. Which you can do that when you, if you're happy with the position of your monitors when you get done. If you want to tighten them down, you can. At least it won't come off right now. It can't come off. Then... We got to put the next part on, which is the next arm. There's two of these. The part that has the uh, metal sticking down, the aluminum, is going to be the part that goes in the, in there. In each arm, there's one for each arm. And there's one, and there's an Allen screw on the top on this one as well. So, you're going to need to get that in there. And then snug that and the set screw down. So that this cannot come back out. So that's what I'm doing on this one. Set screws right there. And again, leave it just loose enough so it will swivel. So you got two arms on there now that will swivel. Next part is going to be 
the uh, bracket for the plate. Here it is. It sits on the plate for the monitor. It slides in there. That's where your thumb wheels come in at, right there, to hold that bracket on. But these brackets need to go in here, like this. Now they got to be bolted on from underneath. There's a little bit more that has to be done there. So we're gonna take a look at that. There's some threads on there. We're gonna have to get that to go down in there. There's a bushing there too, as you can see, it just fell out and it goes right, right in there. There's a bushing, plastic bushing. These top arms only go in one way, but the bottom arms can go in either either direction. It don't matter either side, either direction will be fine. From what I can tell, I don't see anything that uh, is a problem. Now the wire guide's on one side, so you might want to pay attention to that if you want your wire guide to be on your left or on your right. And they got a little bit they got more of a guide down here too so different areas to put the wires in there's slots underneath on both the top arms and there's an adjustment screw right here for your tension where you can adjust the spring pressure so it works with your gas and your spring pressure for your arms so that they don't drop down you got to have your monitor and you need to make increase the pressure just like it says plus towards the plus side there or go towards the negative if you don't need that much you want it to move easier okay now I went ahead and opened up the bag that had these two screws in it they fit into a chamfer they're tapered as you can see and you have two plastic bushings that match there's the back side that has a square in it the other side is round and two plastic washers. We're gonna to need to put them on here uh, when we set it in that arm. That'll be the round part here. There's a square on there, so you're gonna set this in the arm. So I'm gonna set my arm on there, uh, bushing here, and put it on this way so the square mates up with it, and there's a screw there. Now it's showing a washer going up there first, so I'm going to go ahead and put that washer up there very quick and then put that up. So I got washer, square part, and it goes up on there. And then we got the Allen head screw. I need to go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and get that started. Now this part here is going to hook to your monitor. Make sure that that bushing lines up with that square and it tucks in there properly. Want you tighten this up, don't get it, you know, don't get it off because you want that to be on that bushing, that plastic bushing, so it will rotate properly. So there's one side done. I'm going to go ahead and put the other head on, and then we'll put these brackets on. Well, say slide right on there, and then you just got a thumb screw. So this needs to go on the monitor first, and then I'll slide the monitor assembly on it onto here, like that. So slides right on. So bolt this on your monitor if you need. If you got a if you got a curved monitor, then they send in this package. They send spacers with longer screws, so you can put this on a curved monitor or a flat monitor. Mine is flat, so this will go directly on there with short short bolts. So I'm not gonna need these black spacers or the long bolts. So I'm gonna set them off to the side, they're just not necessary. But I'm gonna need these short ones. I'm gonna need these short screws to go in there. Okay, now I have one bracket left, four short screws, a thumb wheel, that's for locking this plate on to the to the arm right here. You can see how the monitor's on over here. That flat plate, I got it under snug, and I took the base off, original base is set over there, and I took the screws that was holding it on, and I put them back in there on the bottom of the monitor, so I know where they're at if I need it in the future. I can always find that big part, but I'm not gonna be able to find those little screws, you know. So I put them back in there. I have my Phillips screwdriver out here. You're going to need a Phillips to put these short screws on the back of your monitor too for that plate. 
Those are Phillips. They do not use these Allen wrenches on that. These Allen wrenches, uh, you know, you need them for adjusting these arms. There's an adjustment, once again, like I say, for the shock pressure back here. I've already tuned that one, turned that one back. It's very stiff. I'm going to have to go more to get that monitor to come down and get it to float down more. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting that plate on the back of the other monitor that I have. And both monitors are 17 inch. And it's holding it up there real nice. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add that plate onto this monitor. All right, check to see which holes it needs by holding this up to it, see how they line up. Mine uses the widest holes available. Of course, it's a flat surface, so I don't have any spacers, and I use the short holes. Get them snugged all the way down to their flush. Make sure they're snug. Go ahead and pick that monitor up. I have my thumb wheel handy here. It's going to go right in this thread here to lock it in once that tab goes up in there. There's a thread on the arm. There it is. Now I should be able to slide it right on top of that bracket there. Move it over a little bit. This is a big screen. Okay, it's on there. Take my thumb wheel and I'm going to put it in here and lock that on so it can't come off. Now, this adjustment right here needs to be tightened up a little bit. The monitor's wanting to flop some, so I'm going to go ahead and snug that down a little bit. Okay, now it's holding. All right, I'm putting the finishing touches on, on this uh, screen holder. As you can see, I can see three monitors now in a space where I could only see two. I can look at the front of the monitor so now this monitor holder you know you can't raise one of the monitors up higher than the other at least not on the 17 inch ones which I had hoped to be able to do that that's not the case you can rotate one of the monitors or both of them so that they're long ways instead of short ways but you have to do that manually on the back by changing those screws as long as they're symmetrical and they fit you can do that no problem this bottom leg here did make a difference and which way it was because there's a cover on there and that will affect the cover the cover will be on the top instead of the bottom so keep that in mind if you put it on this way the covers on the bottom if you flip it and put it that way the covers on the top you know if that's what you want then you can do that but it will mechanically work either direction let's put it that way so overall i like it i like it a lot it's very stable my monitors aren't shaking or anything like that but I'm disappointed that I can't stack them one on top of the other. All right, and there you have it. Thanks for coming by. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and have a great day.